Samsung has just gotten her new iPad Pro with the M1 chip to replace her shitty dying iPad. You see, I see I press ah. Install no. Eh. Wow, this is a satisfying part. Yeah. Hey, don't open like I very scared. Eh. Ah yeah, you go away. Wow, you bombing. Immediate purchase at the day. Drop, drop, drop. Eh. Stop it! But why buy the Pro though? Are you gonna do Pro? Exactly! Everybody asks her why she buy the Pro! Eh, one lao eh! You know how? So somehow I'm always the one pasting screw tackle for everyone. Like I pasted all their phones eh. And the iPads also. I charge for this. No. Woah! That's all. Bye. Alright. We should start now. I'm gonna refresh. Ah oh, shit, it's so expensive. We have ordered the phone. I'm collecting on launch day at 2pm. I wake up, my shoulder's cold. I've got to leave here before I go. I pull my shirt and walk out the door. Drag it's the launch day for the iPhone 13. And both of us, we pre-ordered it last week. Yeah, I'm upgrading from like a 10s Max, which is three years already. Have to pick up them. Yeah, no yeah. worries. CC15, head on down. Thank you very All right, much. Alright, thank you. Okay, thank you. Alright, thank you. Hi. Good afternoon. So, Ronnie here to help you today. Got the phone. Okay, so we just collected our phones. Uh, I got the 14 Pro Max in the new blue color. And this is what the blue looks like. It looks honestly more like a silver, yeah. Right, eyes, eyes. And I prefer the new iPad Mini. So it's quite cute. It's so small. This is the size of my hand. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm back from the Apple Store, and uh, I got two bags. We unboxed the Sierra Blue iPhone. Oh. <gasps> oh. oh. <laughs> it's actually a nice blue. Shit. Yes. It smells nice, is that? Sounds good. Sounds good. Do you touch it? it. Oh. For the accessories, I got just a black leather case because I want it to work with the MagSafe charger. Oh shit! It turns on. Oh. oh. I don't touch the screen. Yeah. So I don't think you can tell, but the screen is 120Hz, so the animation is super smooth. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I should use it without a case. Eh. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. Eh. So this one... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Why you want me to film this? Eh? <laughs> What's the thumbnail gonna be? Uh. How to take? I can take photos in the meantime. Finally done setting up the phone, and I really love the blue. The pictures, the blue look very pastel. But actually, it's a lot more like a silvery blue. So yeah, I really love the color. Just by sticking the phone. Oh, I can also put my AirPods below to charge it. Honestly, every time when I get a new phone, I feel like I get excited for the first 30 minutes. And then after that, it just feels like a normal phone again. Today, I spent the whole day just like collecting the iPhone. So I'm going to be starting right now and uh, catch you guys in whatever the next part is. So I just put an all-nighter doing my 206 code. Oh, I really, really hate 206 so much. I'm someone who, if I don't manage to solve the code, like, I cannot sleep. Like, if I try to sleep, I'll just keep thinking about it. The time now is like 7.30 and the sun's already up. Pretty much the only time I go and get breakfast is when I haven't slept yet. Oh, the sun is really nice now. And this is the breakfast. Waffles and fried chicken. This is not the best, but it works. Huh? Joya? Yeah, correct. Thank for me. Thank you so much. What the sh this so this thing just appeared on the wall. How I let you fall from under me. How walked So my parcel just arrived. So here I've got the new 16-inch MacBook, the one that was just announced last week. Yeah, I decided to get the highest end model. So this was $4,799 and that's already with the student discount. So the previous laptop I was using which is my 2012 MacBook Pro 
has lasted me well for like nine years at this point. So I felt like I deserve to treat myself to a decent laptop. I've waited way too many years for this. Ooh, shit. Wow, this thing is chunky, man. And it's damn big. Wow, it's pretty heavy. Here's the laptop. It's pretty chunky, as you can tell. It feels like one of the old school MacBooks back in like 2008. They also brought back the MagSafe, which I'm still using my old laptop, so like I've been on the MagSafe since forever. For the first time, they actually gave black Apple stickers. Usually it's white. Oh, I can't believe I finally have it. Alright, so I'm back in my room and right now I'm gonna set this thing up. Wow, this thing is damn beautiful, man. I got it in silver and even though my old laptops have been always silver because Space Grey just wasn't an option back then, but I just thought it looks the most classic and I don't regret it at all. I think it looks really nice. Whoa, it just starts out instantly. It's so cool. And yeah, so the model I got is the 16 inch M1 Max with 32 cores of GPU and 32 terabytes of RAM. And 32 gigabytes of RAM and 1 terabyte of storage. Right now there's a notch. Yeah, I don't mind it. I think it makes it look unique. So definitely the specs are way too overkill. Like I was watching the iJustin video and she was straight up editing like 5 clips of 8K footage stacked on top of each other and the computer wasn't even like breaking a sweat. Like the fan barely even started up. And compared to my previous laptop, which takes like 20 plus minutes to export a 10 minute 1080p video, and it even lags on like zoom, like I can't see half the class because their videos just won't load. This laptop is gonna be a world apart. So the new keyboard is really nice. Uh, thankfully, I didn't have to go through the butterfly keyboard face. And it's also full black now compared to the old one where it was aluminium in the middle. I think this looks a lot cleaner. And also the touch bar is gone. And look at the size of this trackpad, it's ridiculous compared to my old one. It doesn't look so sad now compared to this. So when I look at the specs of my old Mac, this doesn't even support Mac OS Big Sur. Um, it has a dual core i5 and Intel HD Graphics 4000. If you any of you have used that before, it's trash. So I finally set it up and it looks super nice. Uh, the screen is also the Super Retina XDR. Basically it's a mini LED display, so it's a bit more contrasty. It's a gaming laptop already, so yeah, if, if it can give it'll be a gaming laptop. Hey, you can, you can. You can play Minecraft, eh? <laughs> okay, first order of business, I need to finish doing my assignments, so I need to install this. It feels like a Windows... Hey, 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 no, no, no. Hey, later they chastise me. Why la? Uh? Is this more, less like Apple, like... It feels like no, Dell. The shape and everything. Yeah, it feels like Dell. More Windows. No, it doesn't. The speakers are insane, by the way. Okay, this is gonna be copyright. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm also performing the benchmark test. Oh yo, what the hell? Oh yo, how good was that? Now it's 15 seconds. Yeah, I want to try. Overall, it still feels familiar. It's still a Mac. But I think what's exciting is for me to test out the video editing capabilities. So I'm probably gonna edit this video on this Mac. This is probably the most expensive thing that I've bought in my life. It's definitely an investment. I think it is worth it. Like it is really expensive, but. I fingers crossed it's gonna last me for the next at least five years. So this video was a series of Apple unboxings. Um, don't flame me for being an Apple fan. I am stuck in the Apple ecosystem, but I think the ecosystem is great, at least for my needs. So thanks so much for watching. I just hit 3,000 subscribers as well. So thank you so much to all my subscribers and to those who stuck around. I'll hopefully be releasing more content with my new laptop. Um, editing hopefully is a lot faster. So thank you so much for watching and catch you guys in the next video.